Hey everybody, Kale here with the Battle Report. I am, uh, it's my first one, uh, forewarned, there are some proxies, I'm waiting on some bases for a few more of my models and then everything will be put together and I am slowly, um, getting everything painted. So eventually all my models will be painted, just bear with me until then, please and thank you. So, uh, it's my Dark Elves against an opponent's Skaven, uh, we got on a forum and decided to meet up when I was over in the big city. And uh, we'll just jump right into it. So, these are my spells. I kind of got most of what I wanted. Um, I rolled two sixes, um, a one and a two. So, I got Dwellers. Um, I had, like, Awakening of the Wood or something. I didn't really want that, so I chose Earthblood. Then I switched the other one to Throne of Vines. Um, and then I have... Uh, Doombolt and Soulbite from my Doomfire Warlocks, and then uh, uh, Flesh of Stone. And, I mean, some of that comes in pretty helpful. One of them I didn't even cast once because he's got a bell. So, over here, this is his left flank. He's got 45 slaves, um, a Abomination, and then he's got... What is he got? I think he's got 40 Storm Vermin, or 36 Storm Vermin, and the BSB there holding a banner. And then he's got a Warlord on Bonebreaker. Um, I can't remember exactly what he was kitted out with, but he does have a 4-up ward save. I know that. This is his middle here. Uh, he's got his bell with 36 Clan Rats and Gracier installed. He's got a... Uh, a... Uh, I think it's 40 Plague Monks there, and then a uh, warp, warp Lightning Cannon. And then on the left, he's got another Warp Lightning Cannon, and then kind of you can see right there, it's in the next slide. He's got his Doom Wheel, and then 45 more Slaves. Uh, he's spread out like this because I have 8 Shades, and he didn't want me kind of deploying behind his lines and taking out his War Machines, which would have been awesome, because you'll see what that does in a minute. And then over here, this is my right flank. I have uh, five doom, uh, five dark riders, and then the weapon steams there. Like I said, there's a few proxies. Uh, that's another unit of five dark riders. Um, and then I have ten doomfire warlocks with a supreme sorceress, talisman of preservation, ruby ring, and then a dispel scroll. And then my master VSB with a sword of might and a dragon helm over there in the cold one chariot. Uh, five uh, Harpies, and then two Medusa Stalkers. And then I have ten Crossbowmen with the Banner of Eternal Flame uh, up on the hill, five more Dark Riders, five more Proxies. And then my Dreadlord on Dark Pegasus with an Ogre Blade, Armored Destiny. Um, I could be wrong, but he's got the four-up ward save from it. And then a Dragon Bane Gem. And then I have two Scourge Runner Chariots, and then the Shades aren't placed there. I just took this picture before I had placed them. Um, and then there are five more Doom Fire, or five more Dark Riders. And so that's pretty much all my deployment. Um, in the next few slides, you'll see where I actually put my shades. And I literally have not gone first in eight games, eight including this one. So I don't go first. And I was joking with him too because he was scared about. I don't know, me killing something first off. And I was like, man, you're probably going to destroy half my army. So, yeah, he shoots his Warp Lightning Cannon. Just direct hit on this guy. Um, does like six wounds to the Chariot and then four wounds to my BSB, which is a sad song because now I have no rerolls like ever. And he was in a perfect spot. Oh, man, dude, I was, oh, it was bad. And then he drops a Scorch on these guys, does three wounds, and then um, panics them. Leadership 10. But uh, actually, no, these guys were outside of my Dreadlord's bubble, and but they were inside the reroll. So they were leadership 8 on a reroll until he killed the guy, and so they fled. Luckily, um, the other, I think, three or four units they were around did not flee, which was nice. And then this is my first turn here after that. One of his warp, warp, uh, warp Lightning Cannons blew up, which I was perfectly fine with after the other one just did a bunch of damage to me there. And so my shades are up on the upper left there. 
and um, I just kind of shuffled my bowmen. He also killed two of my bowmen with that one shot. And I shuffled them up so they can shoot at the uh, Hell Pit Abomination, because I really don't want that thing anywhere near me, and I would like to kill it quickly. And then I moved my Doomfire Warlocks and my Supreme Sorcerer stuff like that, and my two Medusas in front of him. And then this turn I did get Throne of Vines off, which he left up. Um, he just kind of never had the Dispel Dice to get rid of it, I think. And then that's kind of where I moved the rest of my army. Um, so my thoughts here was, okay, so he can charge the Furies. I'm going to flee. He'll redirect. And, and really, if he charged my Dreadlord, I don't care. I'm, I could probably take... Um, I should, on average, do probably one wound with the mount and then the stomp. And then I have four attacks from him, which are probably all going to hit. I mean, I'm hitting on threes with rerolls, and then I'm wounding on twos with rerolling ones. So um, I was kind of excited to get into combat with that unit and uh, kill some of it. And then I kind of pulled the cheeky move and put my Dark Riders right next to his A-bomb. So the only place he has to go is straight, because I don't want to deal with it. Uh, the upper left there, you can see where he moved his, his Doom Wheel. And then he failed to restrain, and he actually killed two of his Plague Monks, which is fine. And this is a different picture. And you can see his Warp Lightning Cannon up there, dead. Which, I mean, he's killed more than I have so far. And then there's my Dark Riders right there. My my plan was to charge the Warp Lightning Cannon next turn. And then uh, I figured between my Shades and then my two Scourge Runner Chariots, I should be able to kill the Doom Wheel, which would be nice. And then there's the picture of my left flank, his right. He just kind of... And they were in range of the Slaves, which I wasn't really too scared about. I think they were like... 12 inches away, so he was going to need like a 10 anyway, um, or a 7, and I wasn't too scared about that, um, not sure why, but yeah, and then these Dark Riders here actually got a shot off on the weapons team, which, uh, which that's actually what made my Dark Riders panic, sorry, he rolled really good actually, he rolled uh, like a six, a five, and a five to wound my guys, and it doesn't allow armor save, so that's definitely above average, and he killed enough to make a panic test, so. And then I end up only doing three wounds to the Doom Wheel, which I was like, awesome. It's going to do his out of control thing, and uh, that's going to be good, right? I mean, it, it's going to hit something of his, probably nothing of mine. It'll be all right. End up doing one wound to the Hell Pit Abomination. And then that happens. So, remember when I said that I probably got a better chance of not hitting me? Well, that's kind of all it did was hit me, which it's not good. It's not good at all. And so he ends up doing, I think, three wounds. Uh, I break. I flee. Uh, he restrains to uh, pursue. And then uh, with that, my shades panic. So they take off and bounce through my chariots. And luckily, they both pass their panic test. Man, it's bad. I've failed so many leadership tests this game. It is terrible. And so we just kind of turn them around like that. And there's my dark riders just kind of kicking it. And uh, I think I actually lost. I think he did two wounds. I broke. And then I went through the slaves and took a dangerous strain test and died. So that was pretty awesome. And here's part of Skaven 2. Uh, he moves his slaves, so if and when I rally, I'm pretty much stuck there and he can charge me. Or if I don't rally, he can charge me and just destroy me or push me off the board. And then there's his doom wheel kind of shooting up there. And everything just kind of backs up. With the A-bomb, he's got to go straight forward. Um, he backs up with his uh, his Warlord's unit and his slaves, um, so I just can't kind of rush behind him. And then he gets uh, Scorch off on my Dark Riders, which uh, actually does three wounds to them, which is unfortunate. 
and then um, with what well, he did something to the the harpies, and then that killed two of them, which made it to where. Actually, no, he killed one of my Dark Riders, and then that made it to where the Harpies were closer. And so it ended up doing wounds to them. And so there's that. So I decided to charge. Uh, I was like, okay, so I'm going to charge. I'm going to direct all my attacks against his BSB, and I'm going to kill him. And I was like, okay, I'll charge with my uh, Dark Riders, too, just for some more combat resident banner. You know, I was like, that'll help. And I lost one of Dangerous Drain because he felt like hitting a tree was a good idea. And then you can see my Dark Rider unit there is uh, smaller. And I finally kill this thing, uh, which is awesome, because I didn't really want to deal with that either. Should have been dead last turn, but it's all good. And I get Earth Blood off, and I have Throne of Vines off, so now my Dark Riders have a 4-up regen, which is extremely helpful. And then here's combat. So I think I kill I, I kill his BSB, and then I think I kill like five more guys other than that. And uh, I win this combat. Um, he's not steadfast. Wait. Yeah, because in trees you're not steadfast, but you do get your rank bonus. And he rolls like a five, which I was really hoping he was going to roll an eight. Because he doesn't have a reroll, and that would have been awesome. And in the very top there, you can see the bases for my Dark Riders. I put them that way because they'd run away from my Dark my Dark Rider unit in combat straight through the rest of his stuff off the board. And it didn't work that way. So uh, I think this is also and then next turn I kill just a few more guys. And I didn't pull a cheeky move which I was gonna, I was like alright I'm not gonna be a dick, I'm not, I'm not gonna park my Dark Riders right next to your A-bomb. You know I don't want you to just keep going forward, I don't want to be mean like that. And what does he do? He turns around and smashes into my Dreadlord. I was like, okay, I got a 1-up armor save and a 4-up ward. I should be fine. He literally kills me with impact hits. Just, oh man, it was bad. So, me not being a dick led to me losing my general, which is extremely unfortunate. And so, that's, I told the guy, I was like, you know what? That's the last time I'm ever not being a dick. And he, uh, he, fully, <laughs> he fully agreed with me. He kind of felt bad. And then when I flee with my Dark Riders because I lose combat, they overrun into my Doomfire Warlocks. And this is after combat. He killed three guys. Um, I think I killed like two. I'm charging a flank and I flee. I get away. But I do bounce through my Scourge Runner Chariots. Nothing else fails their panic. Um, this is a dice roll. And it is an important dice roll. That is why it's an important dice roll. So, I was like, alright, I'm going to six dice uh, dwellers below. And he asked me what that does, and I told him, and he goes, okay, uh, I hope you irresistible force it, because he still had a scroll, and I did. And it went off, and uh, it killed 17 clan rats and his gray seer, which I was very happy about, but since there's a bell, they're still unbreakable, which kind of sucked. But I still got the gray seer. And uh, I still had Throne of Vines up, so I rolled like a 6 or something, and I just didn't care about the miscast. He was all jacked about it, too, because he, he didn't really know what Throne of Vines did. And he's like, oh, yeah, you got you got a miscast, right? Like, Which could potentially be very bad. Um, this was before I got charged. And so, yeah, and then, then I rolled that ass and he goes, what's that for? And I was like, well, two plus the miscast is uh, pretty much disregarded. And he's like, oh. So I did all that damage and nothing in return to myself, which was very nice. And there's my Dark Riders fleeing. And on the back there, there's my Doomfire Warlocks with my Sorceress. Well, that was fun. There's another one. And then there's just a better picture of that. There's my Medusas there. Um, Scourge Runner Chariots I moved up so I could try to kill the bell. Doomfire Warlocks are still there. And then I put my Furies right or my Harpies right there. So I pulled a cheeky move. I was like, I'm not, not going to pull a cheeky move again. So I put him next to the A-bomb and he had to go straight. And he went straight into his uh, Clan Rats or his uh, Plague Priest. Or 
plague monks and killed like five of them. So I was pretty happy about that, you know. And then this is Dark Elf Force. So I have my Medusas and everything there. And then I have that. That's a roll for his bell. So we ended up getting Scorch off and Scorch one of my other units. There's my Doomfire Warlocks. And if you notice, there's something missing. Uh, the Doomfire Warlocks. They failed their leadership nine. Ran right off the board. It was very, it was very unfortunate. At this point, I told him I'm gonna play this last turn because it'd be even turns, and then I'm gonna call it because there's really nothing I can do. Like if my Dreadlord didn't die, my BSB didn't die, my Sorcerer didn't just run off the table, it'd be different. But at this point, I literally have uh, one unit of Shades, a fleeing unit of Dark Riders, um, two Medusas that are leadership two by themselves, and then. Uh, Scourge Runner Chariots, and I think like three other Dark Riders in two different units. So I was like, I'm going to call it after this turn. They failed their leadership test, which is awesome. Uh, I did kill, I think, four guys with them, but they also did take... Uh, he killed one and did like one wound to the other one. So I failed my Frenzy, or I lost Frenzy, and I shouldn't have fled, actually, because I would just lose Frenzy and then flee next turn, but I, I ended up did fleeing, so because I wasn't being very smart. So that's the end of the game. Um, I'm missing a Scourge Runner Chariot, and I'm not exactly sure why. But that's okay. So there's the end of the game. Disregard the Sorcerer's on the left. He's still got a Warp Lightning Cannon, 45 Slaves on the other side, 30 of his Plague Monks. Uh, the Bell and <clears throat> half the Clan Rats unit his Warlord, and the Storm Vermin, and 45 more Slaves, and the A-Bomb. I have a Medusa, <laughs> five, uh, five Dark Shards there on the bottom left. I have a Scourge Runner Chariot, eight Shades, a Fleeing Unit of Dark Riders, and then one Dark Rider up there on the right, and then one Dark Rider up there on the left. There's just another picture. There's another picture of the end of the game. There's those five poor guys. There's my Medusa running like she shouldn't be. And then uh, that's the game. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, like I said, please don't be too hard on me for not having any painted models. Uh, and the other guy, he just got back into it after like a five-year hiatus. And I just kind of figured out exactly which army I'm going to play. So uh, Doom Riders are getting painted. So. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. Hope you'll subscribe and then check out more of my battle reports and let me know what you think on what I can do better and uh, I'll go from there. Thank you very much.